Okay, so if you have one of these Royal RV V500s, Royal Vision Vendor 500, looks like this. And the common problem is the screen will say remove product, but you look down here, there is no product. And uh, sometimes the cup will deliver product, but you can't get it out because this is jammed and then people will break your machine. Sometimes you'll show up to an account and everyone will complain that they couldn't get their product out of there, but uh, now it's working fine. And so you don't know what they're talking about. You're thinking maybe they're lying or you don't know what's going on. And then, uh, but when you are there, everything works fine. So you, you don't understand, you test vend a few bottles or whatever and it delivers everything fine. But the reason why it'll say that and do that is that this inner door here, the cup will go and pick product and it'll go hit this hook and, to, and come down and it'll, it'll push this door down, deliver the product into that bucket. And when the cup lifts up and leaves to go home, this inner door is spring loaded. So it's gonna slam shut. But over time, those springs, there's one spring on either side of this on the inside, they become worn out and they break. And if one of those springs breaks, it'll still shut some of the time, and then some of the time it'll not shut all the way. And when it is just even slightly open like this, that delivery bucket on the other side, it won't open. And someone will just struggle for a long time to get there. And sometimes through a lot of struggle, they can get this thing to shut and then they can get their product out. And then when you show up, it's working fine. Because it's when one spring breaks, it's sort of an intermittent problem for a while. And um, so when you test it, it might work fine and then you don't know what they're talking about until it finally breaks all the way. Uh, what you do to get um, the springs replaced is we're just gonna remove this plate. It's just a bunch of Phillips screws. We're gonna remove this plate and then inside there's gonna be uh, two, three, four, I think, four um nuts that you got to take off and then that whole whole thing will lift out so we'll, we'll do that right now okay so i just took that little top piece out and that piece right there that was going across there now you can see that nut in there it'll focus on it there's that nut in there there's one that you got to stick your tool through there all the way in uh, and then up top, there's two. There's two of them that hold it in. So I'm just gonna take those out. <laughs> to do that, I've got a nice long extension and an, either an 11 30 seconds or a nine millimeter. We'll do it, a deep socket. All right, I lied. I think there's only one up top. Uh, the other one isn't, isn't there uh, as for something else. Uh, the tricky one, is getting it you gotta once those other screws are out you can pull this aside it gives you a little bit of a gap if you just pull it then you can get your tool all the way under under that in there and it's hard to see but there's one back there okay so i got that dislodged and it just comes right out there's one cable that's the sensor it's attached to it up here so I'll just unplug that. Let's unplug that guy. And now it's uh, free all the way. So I'll just set that aside right there. And now we can see that I'm going to take this little black cover off with these two screws. Yeah, so what you'll see is that there's this little bar across the top that just sits freely into these little grooves that are cut into that that, that cover was covering. So uh, what normally you have a spring that's in here that runs down and attaches down here. Those springs are big long, they look like this. And this is the broken one. Well, I'll show you a good example. Um, where it has a hook right there on top. That hook is what normally breaks off and on this spring you can see that that's the case, the hook broke off. Some guys will just take the next 
one out with some pliers and just bend it and get on with their day. Um, I like to replace them with new springs. This look, it'll probably happen down here too. That's looking pretty torn up on the other end. So I'll just put a new spring in and I'll know it'll be good for the next, you know, three or four years. And for a rainy day, in case one of those other springs breaks, I'll keep the old one in here. I'll just keep it right there. And, uh, you know, if I show up and a spring broke and I need it to work, I'll do that little trick. I'll bend this out with some pliers and just hook it on. Uh, that's an emergency piece right there. The smart thing to do is just, just buy two extra springs that are brand new and stick them right there. You should have that in every Royal. <laughs> That'd be the correct way to do that. But um, this spring is out of that machine and I can see that how that's bent. Nah, it's not looking good. So this is probably going to break too. So I need to bring another new spring here. But the way that that works is um, you just stick it in that hole right there on that little metal plate. And then down here on the cup, this little piece of clear plastic right here is what that bottom spring just hooks onto that and then hooks onto that. Okay, so now you can see I've got my spring hooked onto the bottom there and up there and I've got my other spring in there too. Kind of tough to see, but there it is right there. So, I'll just put that cover back on. I'll put my um, delivery bucket back in there and plug it in. And uh, just those one, two, three, four nuts. I'll put uh, these cover plates back on. And uh, then I'll turn the machine back on. I just pulled the fuse right here, by the way, to turn the machine off so that you can unplug and plug in stuff and not arc a wire okay so now I uh, I got you know those plates back in place how they were I'm gonna put this fuse back in and you can see the door is up now and if I pull it down oh it won't huh. I guess I can't all right well I'll just shut the door and we'll see if it We'll see if it uh, ends up doing the right thing. There we go. So now the cup's gonna go find home right there. It's gonna come over and test this door. Hopefully I did it all right. Hey. I think that's right. Now this opens. Okay. I'm gonna say that's good. I guess the best thing we can do is vend a water. Take a water home. Let's see. I'm gonna hit that 36. Well, now we've got other problems. <laughs> These are fun machines. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make another video, part two, on how to fix that. Anyway, at least it's opening that door and that spring load and shut and it's delivering now. For whatever reason, it didn't, didn't know where home was. We'll make a follow up for that guy. <laughs> These really are good machines though. They just break down every once in a while. Um, alrighty.